Hi everyone. Maybe you've had this uh, before, but I don't think it's that common and I think it's so lovely. And so it's a beet latte. When with um, Valentine's Day not far around the corner, it makes for a very beautiful pink latte. So it looks really pretty. It's full of nutrients uh, because it's made with beets. So what I have done prior to the video is I took a couple of beets, I boiled them, uh, that was a while back, and uh, I had a few extra and I just took them and pureed them, right? And so, and in the pot is basically some steamed almond milk and uh, it's steamed with some, about an inch of fresh ginger and it has a couple of cinnamon sticks that have been uh, steamed with it. So I'm gonna lift those out, the extra sticks, and I crushed the um, ginger with this little tool. If you would like one, give me a call. Um, Mr. Nagodi got it for me. It's probably in the States, so I'd be able to score one for you. It's pretty awesome. I'm gonna pick out a cup. This is uh, my cousin Beverly's uh, cup that she and I share that uh, she has the exact one. So when I drink out of it, uh, I'm certain there's a connection and vice versa. So anyhow, I'm gonna put in about like two tablespoons full of beet puree. Nothing more than a, a boiled steamed beet uh, pureed out. Loads of goodness and antioxidants, I guess, and all that jazz. And then I'm going to put um, some steamed milk in it. Well, before I do that, I'm going to whisk it. I've got this little tool, whatever you use to foam milk, so I don't know if you would put it in your, um, your bullet or something. So I think I foamed it enough. And in I'm pouring it. How does that look? How's that? How's that? And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of really crispy, crystally um, coconut sugar on top. I like it crisply so that it, when it kind of hits your lip, it's a bit crisply and it sticks to your lip and gives you a little added sweetness. I'm gonna take a little wee bit of maple syrup, drizzle it over the top, and you have yourself one of the most uh, nutritious and uh, satisfying filling warm winter drinks. So cheers, and I think I might call it my um, beautifully hearted Beverly Beat drink in my Beverly cup. Amen.